Hello everybody, this is Mateo, and perhaps this is the Volcano Slash Lava World? Uh, I have to say that the Volcano Slash Lava World is most definitely my favorite type of world in the entire game. Well, in any game, really. I mean, Lethal Lava Land was my favorite uh, world in Super Mario 64. However, that's also partially because of the Koopa Shell surfing that you could do over the lava, and you kind of had to do for 100 coins and oh, okay. So it doesn't look very lava-y, although it does look like we have falling meteors. And also the difficulty is alright without being unfair with a million death pits like desert levels usually have. So yeah, this doesn't really look to be quite the lava world that I thought it would be. However, it seems like we have a volcano in the background at least. And oh, hey look, another fawn. We saw fawns back at uh, Fracture Hills. However, they were all female, and then the males were satires. However, it seems that now, fawns are male. So, yeah. Well, we have these guys who throw what, what looks to be grenades. Uh, like any enemy, you don't really want to give them a chance to attack just because. And then we have these stone guys again. Fantastic. And these snails will give us butterflies. Yay. Oh, hey there, guy. Oh, we can push him. Just like the other guys in Fracture Hill. So push him on the X. He throws the rock because he can't throw it two seconds or two inches farther, and you can kill those stone guys. Otherwise, they are invincible, just like the ones <clears throat> at Fracture Hill. Now, I'm not 100% sure, but I am in I'm rather sure that we can 100% this level already. <coughs> God, there's like something sharp. Like a little bit of chip or something lodged in my throat or something. Let's go ahead and kill this snail. Oh no, Gary! Oh, he's gone missing now. And oh, I remember these. Okay. So yeah, there are ladders everywhere and we can climb them and stuff. And we're going to have to later on. But this is pretty neat. I like this. This level's alright. And it looks like we do have some lava. However, it isn't a full-on lava world. By that I mean like lava everywhere and every th practically everything is an obstacle. Oh, don't fall in by ramming your head spiral. You probably don't want to da dash on this, however I am. And for, for this reason, good job Spyro. So I guess I can just glide around this? Yes I can, okay good. Okay, so we need to get- I'm <laughs> going to kill Gary the Snail a third time just to get back to yellow health. And yeah, so I need to get to higher ground so I can glide to places and stuff. Don't jump off, Spyro. Jump off, Spyro. Okay, there we go. Hello, Zo. Save my progress. And how many... What stuff do we have here? We have three orbs, 19 enemies, not that many, actually. And 400 gems, as always. I think every world has 400 gems, exactly. Even the speedways. Although boss levels don't, but they really don't count as worlds. So, yeah. Let's head on back down here to get a little bit of backtracking done before I go any further. <laughs> Just so I can get all these things. Don't ram into that blow it up instead and you can get a blue gem not bad and then head on up here just a little background area that I was oh look Gary's finally learned how to climb and then I hit him so ha huh? but I really wow that is a lot of gems I don't really remember this world all too much it's kind of unspectacular I guess except they do have those neat little tower things that I like oh I'm I did I really miss some gems over there been Great. Great. Gotta go back now. Let's go, Spyro. Jump off the ladder. There you go. Good boy. And they're all the way over here, too, so I'm going to have to climb up that ladder like an eighth time or something like that. Oh, well. I think we now have about 150 gems in this level, so that's pretty good for the four-minute mark. Gems give you a good representation of how far you are into the level. Uh, just because of how spread out and stuff they are. There's that over there. Can I possibly get to that now? Nope, I have to get higher up and then glide to there from a higher up place. Okay, so keep that in mind. There's this guy who needs to get onto the X. X marks the spot, and he's broken. It's a neat looking trap right there. I'm trying to think of what that may remind me of. However, nothing comes to mind. So I guess that means that it reminds me of nothing. But I could have sworn that there was something. <laughs> yeah, please excuse me. For whatever reason, my sinuses are getting a bit iffy. <laughs> that was funny. I like that. And I just had the dorkiest little laugh ever. Because it caught me off mid-sentence. 
and I just found it hilarious. And oh my god, we are suddenly super slow, Vil, again. But there's no bagpipes. What is this? Thank god these fawns aren't playing bagpipes as well. Although then again, I guess that's only the satires. But they're the, st they're the same basic idea. So now we want to go ahead, jump right, head on down here. And where are we now? We are on another path. Oh, money bags, I thought I was done with you. Okay, so there's that life, and I spy two more lives. Why? Three more lives. Why all the lives? Holy crap. I mean, that's... Wow. That is a lot of lives. Hmm. Strange, and it wasn't even that difficult to get to. Um, if it could stop dropping a million frames. Wait. Okay, there we go. I want to glide over here before I forget about it, if I can... Nope. Um, uh, might be able to, but I doubt it. Plus, if I'm dropping that many frames all of a sudden, seriously, what is going on with my recorder slash computer? I might have to check into that later on. Soonish. I'll get on it eventually. Oh, god. Okay, so the super lag just made me go all the way back to the beginning. Thank you so much, super lag. If it continues anymore, I'm going to turn this off for a minute and try to see if I can find anything. Still going. If it hits 200, then... My god, it is so skippy. It is so skippy. Okay, it hit 200. I'll be right back. Okay, um, that was weird. Trying this again. Seems to be okay. Really, the only thing I did was close out of Skype slash quit for once, but that had never been a problem before. But it seems like, for the most part, I'm goodish, except that was completely my fault that time. Luckily, I landed down here, so whatever. However, unluckily, I have to go back up again! So, yeah, it's not looking all too bad. It might just be the same color, like, on the screen too much. I mean, that seems to be the problem sometimes, or it's just the too quickly changing color. Not that button. Get down. Or maybe the color is just changing too quickly for it, between brown and then green. Now, how do- I could really have just done that, really? Okay, whatever, I got it. Does this con- yep, this contains a whole bunch of gems. It was kind of difficult to get to, so I was guessing it did. Okay, and that's all the gems from that thing, and we can move on, continue with the level. So it is kind of a good thing that I fell down. I was able to go ahead, grab that, and run into that fawn, who's jumping for joy that he actually killed a stone creature. But... Yeah, let's see if I can actually make this jump this time. There we go. Spyro kind of just absorbed his body into that ladder or whatever. Okay, let's see what money bag wants. Money bags. Well, Rather. Customer, I'm your only customer, you sir. Oh, there is actually a volcano? Nice. And... How much is a few, sir? That's not that bad. I've made quite a bit of money since you last stole everything. So, yeah. 200 down, but we can get on the elevator and continue the level. I think that the- is there actually- Yeah, if you collected all the gems at the beginning of this level, then you have enough. So you don't have to come into this level with extra gems, just in case. Although, really, you should have more than enough gems already, even if you didn't collect anything from this level. So, it would appear that we do, in fact, have a actual volcano area. Neat! Okay, let's see how this works out. Um, with a couple of frame drops again. Oh, now I remember. At least I think I do. These rocks. Yes, yes, we will get to these rocks in a second. But first we have some gems down here around the edges, and a burned Spyro. Get up there! Get up there! Lord. Okay. Just head on around. Can't... Of course. Third death. And Spyro looks super weird when he dies like that, by the way. At least I think so. So we're over here. Grabbed all the gems. You know, whatever. So let's go ahead and climb the volcano, I guess. We have a couple things to look out for, such as rolling rocks. Watch out for falling rocks. What is the point of this thing? Oh, well. It did something. I guess. Head on up here. I guess there. I'm guessing that there's nothing on the way. It's just fully up and. Oh, I see where this is going. It's uh, back and forth. So just kind of keep a rhythm with what you're. Oh no! Grab back on. 
Hurry up. Okay, so you want to kind of get in the middle of the track. And you will slowly make your way up. Okay. And then once you get up, the thing closes, which is nice. So there we go, the thing closed, we are randomly teleported to this guy, who I have no idea where he even is relative to where we are. Okay, well, that was a short little volcano area, but we still have orbs and stuff, I guess. And I also have to remember to add 6-7 minutes from the first part of this video where I got super laggy. Okay, so where are you, sir? And how was I supposed to get to you without... Seriously, oh, I guess I could have glided there. And... Spyro just randomly decided to glide there rather than have me find him. Okay, so we have our power up here, Superfly, which is nice. There's a whole bunch of stuff hidden around this room that we gotta find, but we also have to kill lava monsters that stole their hats. Yeah, we went from, uh, help, well, really, how much of this has been super important? We went from... Uh, training Hunter's Manta Ray. Oh, I remember how we have to kill these guys, and that is not the way. Okay, well, I'm just going to go ahead and destroy these balloons then, to make the gems appear. How many of them are there? No, I did not mean to do that. Stop that. How many of them are there? There's 12. Oh, and they hit you with their little confetti blower things. I don't even know what to call those. Stop that! Jeez, I got combo braked. Or combo breaker or something. That was awful. And also all of the balloons just kind of reappear. That is fantastic. Seriously though, where are the other orbs then? I can only think of this one. Did I miss them? There wasn't that much to this level. I mean, but yeah, shoot a rock at them. They will die. I will also want to keep an eye on your flights, by the way. That would get really bad if you happened to not refill it and we also need to grab these gems that are released by these balloons too i'm going to go ahead and replenish my flight good thing i landed on that i mean really okay so now let's head on over here grab this thing kill it that's three there are also some in those tunnels over there and there might be some gems in there as well how many more do i need Quite a bit, so apparently there might be an entire level, or part of this level that I'm missing, and I'm, again, running into the lava. So, yeah, I'm not a big fan of this lava world. Um, ironically enough, if that is irony, I actually like this um, lava world less than I do the desert level, and normally I'm not the biggest fan of desert levels. So, yeah, I also should probably head up back to where the Superfly power-up is. Oh wait, they have a little mystical swirly of teleportation slash levitation slash whatever. So at least there's that. Um, but really, I mean, what else is there to this level? I can only think of this room. And oh god, they almost hit me. Let's hit him and also burn our butt while doing so. Uh, aim for him. Try to get this balloon as well. Except I can't because I suck. Let's try that again, burn the balloon, um, yeah, I'll chance it with the green sparks, I mean, there's only one guy here to worry about, so let's go ahead, hit him, and of course, chancing it does not work, and I almost fell in the lava, dear god, whoa, how did I get sparks back, didn't I lose him, I was, I apparently wasn't paying attention, no, oh, super fast diving, Where's, where did that gem fall? You know, I could just use the Sparks Compass to follow the gems afterwards and try to find where that last, where those last orbs are. And also the orbs appear in the menu in the order that you should have found them. So if this is like the second or th third orb, then I'll know that I, like, missed an area or something. Now, if only I could find these last two guys. Uh, we need one more now. And I'm about to run out of Superfly power up as well. I'm going to head back up there. Keep flying high, Spyro! Keep flying high! Okay, please land on it. Thank you. Okay. Oh, there's the last one. Is there a... No, there's not a rock close to him. Okay, so I'm going to go ahead and grab that one. Almost run into the lava. That would have been bad. Head on back up. And launch at him. There we go. All the enemies are dead. We got all those guys. Your name reminds me of Cheddar. And you're welcome. Speaking of cheddar, cheese balls, 
and he actually tried to eat it even though it's green and probably would have been moldy but that is our 40th count them 40 orbs that is quite a bit and also that was our first one so sparks compass where do i go now that way um i shall grab the super fly power up just in case i need to fly to it um it looks like it's up perhaps no that's just a little random crack um as the music loops did i just like miss a section back here what did I miss something up here? Um, I'm always pointing back there, so I'm going to go ahead and let, let this happen. And Hey, the super... Er, no, no, don't do that. Yeah, the super fly ran out. Um, Sparks, where are you taking me? I'm not sure. I don't remember in the slightest. Seriously, where are you taking me? up please excuse my confusion for a minute people um yeah he's saying up but now he's saying directly across and down what is this huh i am i am of the confused perhaps there is something down here that i missed no it's still saying way up there did I miss, like, a little secret section? Oh, hello. Right there. So, apparently there's something over there that I should check out. Which, okay, how do I get up to higher ground? Because I need to glide to that. Yeah, yeah, I've forgotten stuff. And I said that this world was a volcano level. And I was actually looking forward to a volcano level. Oh my god. This game is making me rethink everything that I thought about video games. Not really. But still, that's just really weird. Okay, so I can get up here. Okay, I think I might have this. I spy gems! And what looks to be an underwater section of sorts. Maybe, perhaps. Oh, there's stuff down there, so let's try it. Uh, okay. Ice! What the... Right by a volcano? Okay, I remember this, I think. We have to beat Hunter at this game. Why didn't... Why isn't... Why aren't these two? Um... Yes, it is. Ah, oh, I get that pun. Crystal popcorn, really? Speaking of popcorn, somebody's making popcorn downstairs. First one to grab ten of them wins. Let's play. That is exactly what I'm doing right now. Okay, so grab ten crystals before Hunter. And I think there are actually two versions of this game. And what, el what also makes me think that is the fact that... Um... There is no other possible places that I can think of that would have um a orb on it and I just remember this being a whole lot worse than what it actually is right now Ah, oh, nice but I think that all the blue here is kind of making my capture card freak out again which is simply fantastic not really and also Hunter you're proving quite the challenge you're- I'm barely ahead of you. Could I get that one? Ah, oh, barely. Oh man. Okay, if you follow the uh, fumes, you could see the hole where, where they're going to end up. And can I flame him, please? Ah, oh, I- however, I can jump over him and take his popcorn away from him. Ah, oh, I missed. Darn it. Crap, this is not the time to be missing your- Stop missing! He's really close. Ah, oh, barely got it. Okay, good. You're welcome. Ha, take that. What did I say? You're welcome. Take that! We got an orb, and it's super laggy. And that's 41, and he does indeed have a second version of this game, if I remember right. Aw, oh, 15. It's going to take longer. Let's play. Again, that's what I'm doing, sir. Now, I'm pretty sure that this time Hunter is faster. No. Well, oh man, I'm just going to, he might be faster, I don't know, or he's just really strategic at the moment, but I'm just going to try to steal the ones that Hunter is going to take, because he's heading towards them, so if I could just like jump up and grab them before him, that would be of the best, or I could just try my luck, however, I'm pretty sure that's the strategy I used the first time I played this, so yeah, just kind of like keep an eye on him. 
as well as the crystal popcorn. Am I really calling it the crystal popcorn? That's a stupid name that Hunter came up of, or he came up with. Okay, so we're even now, and now I'm ahead. No, I'm not. Wait a minute, it's popping up right there. Oh, he barely missed that. Good. As long as he misses it, that's good. Okay, I am now ahead of the game. Although I think he just got another one. Yep, okay. Bad, 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 bad. There's one over here. And also, don't wait around too long for one that's still heading over. Oh, steal it! No! Okay, he's ahead of me now. This is bad, especially since he's so close. Crap, I missed that one. Ah, oh, he won! Why can't I do this? And it's super laggy still. God. Why did you- you were- you're not supposed to grab it until it jumps up, sir. Hunter, why are you keeping the orbs from me? I mean, you're kind of- I'm kind of helping out your home of Avalar and stuff. And then you're wanting to play these stupid games that I can't even find a freaking crystal popcorn anymore. All of a sudden. And just prevent me from getting the orbs and stuff. Why are you doing this? Why, why can't you help me out here? I'm saving your homeland. You can't give me a single orb. Or really, rather, the ten that you are carrying with you at all times. I mean, really, Hunter has like a fourth of the orbs in this game. I'm pretty sure that's about right. No, 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 oh my god, that was close, and I just jumped on his head. I thought Mario did that. Or Manta Ray, but why do you, why are you withholding orbs from me for doing this? I used to like Hunter, not anymore. His minigames have just been really, really stupid, and I realized, why is this man withholding orbs from me when I'm trying to save his world? I mean, who does that? Who harms your progress for helping them? I mean... Somebody's probably going to give an example, but I'm starting to think that Hunter is the real villain here. Bum 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 twist. Yeah. Take that. Hunter is the real villain. Spyro 5 featuring Hunter is the villain. Once they actually make an, a real Spyro the Dragon game and not one of those Legends thing. Although I'm pretty sure that, isn't it because like Activision lost the license to Spyro, so now somebody else is making the Legend games now. Oh my god, this is so close. YOU JERK! It's because you don't have your running shoes. Dude, okay, here's a deal. Here's a deal. I'll give you- I'll find you your running shoes. You give me all the orbs you have. I think that's a pretty good deal. I mean, you kind of need those to race and stuff, and you seem to be quite the competitive guy. So, I don't know, I think we could work something out here, and of course it popped out that way. Um... Oh, I did- I hit the icicle! That's bull! And why am I barely missing them all of a sudden? He has so many compared to me. Sparks, grab them for me. You do this for a while, I'm tired of running. Back. I like the desert level more than the volcano level in this game. There, I said it! Take that world, and all who inhabit it. I have gone back on my values when it comes to video game worlds. Good job, Spyro 2. Good job. Okay, so we're even again. Although I guess technically this is ice, but whatever. Technicality. Don't you dare get one. Oh my god, is it me? He said that with such a sarcastic tone. Really, Hunter? Don't come up with harder games. That was pretty freaking difficult. He's being so jerkish about it. What? Hunter is definitely the villain. Oh, out of all the orbs to be really difficult to get, of course it is the 42nd one. My favorite number goes against me yet again. So yeah, I'm kind of back at the very beginning of the level for like the 8th time in a row. So like usual, wait first off, kill one last Gary the Snail. How dare you live in such a world, go back to the sea. Okay, so yeah. I'm going to go ahead and exit level, we're going to see what happened, and hope that Hunter is dead. And they have their party hats at least, at least we 100% in this world, so I guess there's that. But I still like the desert level more in this game, it wasn't that bad. Wow, way to kill one of your own kind. Murder, murder, and they're going to continue partying. Wow, okay. I, okay, just... I don't know what else to say. 
besides um, screw hunter, screw volcano levels, and <clears throat> screw ice as well. I mean, really. So, anyways, in the next part, I believe this is our final world of Autumn Forest, save the speedway. Uh, let's check the guidebook. Um, we have every world 100% except Fracture Hills, which I have yet to be able to do because I don't have the new move yet. And we'll come back for that later. But yeah, uh, Shady Oasis is left, and then the speedway, and then our boss. So we're almost done with this homeworld. It seems like we've been here forever. It's much longer than the last one. But yeah, that's pretty much it. Next part, Shady Oasis, although it doesn't look that shady. We have a sun this time, even though it's supposed to be shade. Oh well. Anyways, this is Mateo. I will see you all next time. Goodbye.